Welcome to Stacker News. What did you miss last week in web dev? Last week we started hacking at Hacktoberfest, scraped the web, and learned MongoDB. In this video, I'll highlight my favorite creators from last week, and maybe you'll discover some new content that you didn't know about, but there's even more news in the Stacker News newsletter. The link is in the description below to sign up, and even if you don't want to sign up, you can still get access to all of the links mentioned in this video. This is Stacker News. First up in top news, Tailwind CSS version 3 alpha was released. Check it out, play with it, break it, and help them get it ready for prime time later this year. And the Stack Overflow The Key keyboard is now available. If you want to quickly copy that SO code into your project, you need this keyboard. Speaking of Stack Overflow, the VS Code extension of the week is Stack Finder. This is a tool for finding Stack Overflow answers and pasting them directly into your code without leaving VS Code. Let's take a look at some events coming up. This week we have the Jamstack Conf 2021. It's October 6th and 7th and is completely virtual and free. Then we have DevFest North America, which will be November 19th and 20th. Again, this is a virtual and free conference and I'll be speaking there, so don't miss it. Go ahead and register now. And then Hacktoberfest 2021 will be going on all October long. This year should be a little bit smoother than last year since there are some great rules in place to prevent the crazy spam that we got last year. Here are last week's videos in no particular order. Speaking of Hacktoberfest, in this video from Max Programming, you'll learn how easy it is to start participating in the event. He even created a nice site where you can quickly find eligible GitHub repositories to contribute to. If you need a good reason to become a software engineer, go check out this video from Clement where he'll give you 15. He'll cover 15 perks of software development that should hopefully convince you to learn to code if you haven't done so already. Up next from Vicky May, you'll learn how to become a Python backend developer in 2021. She'll tell you all of the steps and what you need to learn. And if you want to know what professional software engineers actually do, go check out this video from Forrest Knight. Most of the time you're going to see highlights, making coffee, eating lunch, but hardly any coding. Go check out this video to see what it's actually like. Next up from Anya Kubo, she'll show you how to build a web scraper in a super simple, beginner-friendly way using Node.js. And you have to go check out this office tour from Jessica at Coder Coder if you want to see the equipment that she uses for coding and creating YouTube videos. And even if you don't want to see the equipment, just go watch the video because it's awesome. In this next video from Anastasia Marchenkova, you'll learn how to crush your new grad software engineer interview. She has conducted a lot of new grad interviews and knows what to look for. So go check out this video for some great advice. I recently started using Edge as my main browser. In this video, I'll explain why. You may not know the full story and history of Microsoft Edge. Apparently, YouTube has recommended to everyone that they watch this website design video from Adrian Torek. This is the first time that I've ever seen YouTube recommend a video to everyone. It's even right there in the title. So I guess you just need to go watch it. Next, we have a quick video from James Q. Quick, where you'll learn all about JavaScript ES6 template literal strings. And in this video from Kevin Powell, you'll learn how to create custom scroll bars using CSS. It's a little bit tricky to make it work on all browsers. View versus Svelte. Which one will win? The program with Eric will let you know. In this video, he'll put them head to head and talks about which features he likes better. Next up, Kyle at WebDev Simplified gives us a MongoDB crash course. He breaks down all of the important CRUD commands that you need to know. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, and Delete. Speaking of MongoDB, I am a MongoDB developer advocate, and in this video, I'll give you an overview of what MongoDB Atlas data lakes are, and I'll demonstrate how to connect and use one in an e-commerce app. DevEd is back. It's been a bit since he's posted a video, and in this video, he doesn't disappoint. We get a magic trick and learn how to build an awesome vanilla JavaScript memory game. My left ear loved it. Thanks, Ed. Robert Brunnage has pre-launched his Ultimate Flutter course. If you're interested in learning Flutter to build scalable applications, go get this course while it's on sale. 
Now on to articles, podcasts, and socials. A great article that I came across on Dev2 was bookmark this eight front-end websites now. This is a list of very helpful sites that can help you build out your front-end. For podcasts, give the MongoDB podcast a listen. In this episode, we explore Prisma with Daniel Norman. You can now use MongoDB with Prisma. Over on Instagram, go check out this awesome carousel to learn five JavaScript console methods you should probably know. Again, all of the links mentioned, plus additional content is in the newsletter. The link is in the description below. If you missed last week's episode, go check that one out too. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.